we started a series of studies and we noticed that chickens that graze and they are not fed grains, they produce an egg that is balanced in the omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids. We call that egg the Greek egg or the Ambelistra egg from where the egg came from and that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. We continue our studies also on the diet of the people in Crete in particular where they eat a, a lot of wild plants as well as snails. We found out wild plants are high in omega-3 fatty acids and they have much lower amounts in omega-6 but most importantly they are also very high in vitamins and minerals. Furthermore, the snails that naturally are um, produced in, uh, in Crete and other parts of Greece, they have much higher amounts of omega-3 fatty acids than those in France, for example, or other countries. But what was most fascinating was the fact that the omega-3 fatty acids were found in the meat of the animals because they graze, whereas the animal that is grain-fed uh, is um, uh, definitely uh, high in omega-6 fatty acids. So that what we found was that the omega-3 fatty acids were found throughout the food supply. The food supply provided adequate or high amounts of vitamins and minerals, essential fatty acids, antioxidants and phytochemicals, all of which are essential for normal growth and development.